Welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at the Tale of Knives Mini Bandit. Let's check it out. So let me give you guys a nice close up of the Mini Bandit here from Tale of Knives. And while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the features. All right, so the Mini Bandit here features one main card pocket that can hold between three to four cards. And then on the back, it has a pocket that can hold your pen and another pocket that can hold a small knife. It's made from full grain leather sourced from Wiccan and Craig and available in three different colors. The color that I have here is TOK Brown. You also have your choice of eight different thread colors. The thread color that I have here is black and everything is handmade and hand stitched right here in the USA. All right, let's talk dimensions. It comes in at 2.98 inches by 3.72 inches and has a thickness of 0.2 inches when it's empty. And according to my weight test, it comes in at 1.2 ounces. That's 34 grams. So I just mentioned that the Mini Bandit here is made from a full grain leather sourced from Wicked and Craig, but I'm not exactly sure which type of leather this is. But just based on how glossy this leather is, my best guess is maybe some sort of natural harness or glazed harness. Now let's talk about this for a second. I am a big fan of wallet slash pocket organizer hybrids, just like the Mini Bandit here. If you're anything like me, your gear is constantly fighting for pocket real estate. So wallet slash pocket organizers such as the mini bandit here make that just a little bit easier in the front main pocket here You can store between three to four credit cards And then when I turn it around to the back side You can see the pen pocket right here That's made for a small everyday carry pen and this pocket right here is made for a small knife or Basically anything that can fit in there some examples are a pry tool a flashlight I've carried both of those already in the mini bandit and if you guys are familiar with tale of knives You're gonna know that this is a pretty high quality wallet slash pocket organizer and if i give you guys a real nice close-up here you can already tell that like i said my best guess is this is some sort of harness full grain leather from wicked and craig and just look at that gloss it looks gorgeous and yes the hand saddle stitching here looks fantastic i'll give you guys a nice look at that and no surprise the edges are nicely burnished as you guys can see here so very, very nice job here. There's a curved cutout right here on the corner of the Mini Bandit to make it easy to grab your cards, but at the same time, it makes it real easy to grab your pen out once it's in there. And there's no curved cutout for the knife pocket here. You really don't need it. On the very bottom of the front main card pocket here, there's a thumb slot to easily push up your cards once they're inserted. And the only real negative I've come up with so far for the Mini Bandit is this really large branding on the front here. You can see it takes up about 90% of that length going side to side here. Now, Tale of Knives has a really cool logo that I like. It has a K and a T with a needle on top. I'll pop it on the screen right now if you guys aren't familiar. I would much rather see that logo right here on the front than these words going across like that. But that's a really small negative, not a deal breaker at all. It's just my own personal opinion. All right, so let's jump into the card test here. They say this can hold between three to four cards in this front main pocket here. And as you can see, gobbles those four cards up with no problem at all. And I found this wallet to be very functional. You can either get those cards out with that thumb notch on the very bottom there, do the fan method, or because of this curved cutout right here, you can just grab your cards pretty easy that way. So there's a few different ways to get your cards out of this wallet, which I appreciate. And if you're slick enough, you can even push up your top card, which is your most used credit card, without having to pull up all the cards from that main pocket. And even though the mini bandit here isn't really meant to hold cash, you can still carry some cash here. I have about four bills here folded into quarters and just leave just the tip hanging out right there where that curved cutout is so you can easily grab your cash out. All right, so let's talk about what gear can fit in the mini bandit here in these two pockets. So in this knife pocket, uh, they say they can fit the standard Swiss Army Alox knife, the ZT0230, the Benchmade proper mini bug out, the Kershaw Leak misdirect, a small Sebenza 21 and knives of that size. And then when it comes to the pen pocket, a Fisher Space Pen Bullet or the Kawiko Lily Put. So of course I tested out my own gear here and they did say, let me bring all this in, they did say a Benchmade bug out. So this is the Benchmade bug out CF Elite, and yes, it does fit back here. It does have four cards in here now, so it might be just a little tighter than when I was carrying it, but as you can see, right there, that Benchmade bug out does fit. Has about, I would say about an inch sticking out the top there. And now let me demonstrate the Benchmade Mini Osborne 945 BK1. You can see fits in there pretty darn nice. And now let me demonstrate one of my favorite everyday carry knives, the Giant Mouse. Ace Clyde, 
There you go. Now, of course, this pen pocket here is easily gonna fit a Fisher Space Pen bullet. That's not gonna be a problem at all. But if you have an Olight O-Pen Mini right here, of course, that's gonna fit in very nicely, as you can see. But say, for example, you don't wanna carry a knife here in this knife pocket. You could carry a flashlight, a small little EDC flashlight, like the 4.7's Prion P1 Mark III here. And I did carry this for a little bit. And you can see, fits in there pretty darn nice. Or a pry tool, such as the Lynch Northwest All Access Pass version 1.5 and you can see, obviously there's room for days in that pocket for this little pry bar. But hopefully this gives you a nice idea of what could fit here in the Mini Bandit. Um, four credit cards, a knife as large as the Benchmade Bug Out CF Elite right here, and then either an O-Pen Mini, or where's my Space Pen right here? Obviously the Space Pen, I do love carrying my Space Pens. One of my favorite everyday carries right there. But for me personally, I like to carry my knives in my pocket and either carry a pry tool in that pocket right there with a pen or a flashlight. This is what I carry the most at work just because I do use pens a lot and I always, always need a flashlight for work. And the reason I don't really like carrying my knife in a pocket organizer like this is because I don't wanna to have to pull out my organizer just to get access to my knife. I like quick access to my knives at all times. So my final thoughts on the Mini Bandit here are it's a very, very high quality, well-made pocket organizer slash wallet. If you bought anything from Taylor Knives, you're gonna know just how high quality their gear is and the Mini Bandit here is no different. It can carry up to four credit cards and even some cash, which I think is great. And enough room in the back to carry your pen, flashlight, knife, pry tool, whatever you want. So would I recommend the Mini Bandit here at 53 bucks? Yes, absolutely I would. So at the time of recording this video on the website, it says they only have one left in stock. So I'm not really sure if this is a limited release and if it's gonna be restocked anytime soon. I don't know. So which one of you guys is gonna be the lucky person to grab that last one in stock? Anybody? All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Mini Bandit from Tale of Knives? Now, if you wanna check this out for yourself, I will leave links down below in my description box. Hopefully they're not sold out. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!